Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for November 9th, 2021. The character of the Watcher and the mod for our star insanity started with a random deck of 50 cards. Blue card, blue cards are appearing rewards in shops. In big game hunter, elite enemies are now swarming the spire and drop better rewards. I see we're playing in 10th place, 17-19. That's a pretty good score. I should also point out that uh, I, I thought the top scores would be cheating, but uh, somebody pointed out that Speedfrog actually has a YouTube channel and he does upload some Slate Aspire videos. So he doesn't, in, well, at least he doesn't do dailies, but in his videos that he has on his channel, he doesn't cheat. He does he does use a lot of exploits, um, a lot of glitches. I think the, the game does allow you to fight elites multiple times or to sort of remove a bunch of cards. So so he does do that. So I, I shouldn't say that this, the, he is obviously cheating i think he's using exploits which is still not something that i would want to do but you know I, I i know things you know all the speed running categories have like a glitchless category as well for people like me who like to actually play the, the game in full um all right let's also review the scores from yesterday Thank, thanks everybody for all the comments i think there are um, a few people who got pretty good scores went for a zero cost deck which is something i didn't even consider um but it, it looks like some people yeah vorpa was one of them and i want to say uh yeah i'm not sure who else but uh yeah now I, I do want to point out that um i did fine end up 71st at the end of the day and then fuinia also left the comment uh very similar strategy to mine and alex i see 1357 so that's not bad either hang on i think I, i'm missing one name that i thought left the comment about going for a zero cost deck uh maybe they didn't make in the top uh top 80 i guess that's what i was looking at uh which is fine that happens too it was definitely an interesting run so anyway, let's move on to today's run. So Insanity, Blue Cards, Big Game Hunter with the Watcher. Watcher, and, um, well, blue and purple cards is what I had yesterday. But yesterday I was also, I should point out, uh, looks like people were able to get a lot of cards that allowed them to enter Wrath. I did not have any cards that allowed me to enter Wrath yesterday. But I see one Tantrum here, three Wallops. I'm just going to earn three third, of, uh, third Eyes. I just want to quickly review whether I'm close to any collector bonuses, but I think the two I just mentioned were the only ones. I do see a genetic algorithm, and I'm going to try to use it a lot early on, but that might be difficult. But yeah, insanity decks are, are going to be a little random with what I draw. Um, so I see four lead paths uh, on the left generally. Yeah, multiple though. So if I stick on the far left, I'll get four question marks total very early on if i stick on the left and then turn or start on the right and turn left i get three uh just three question marks plus a potential shot but no i think i stick on the far left to get the four question marks all right yeah opening hand tantrum i love to see that let's do tantrum flying sleeves and i could do empty fist right should be able to fairly easily kill next turn cut through fate and uh beam cell does it the other order would have worked too Got a fire potion and claw empty better skim. Yeah, I would love more card draw. I, I'm not even going to check if I need uh, any of these for a collective bonus because I don't think I was really close to anything. Got some gold for HP. And then here, I don't think I need to remove anything. There's nothing that I th saw that was like horrible. So I think we can move on. Save the gold for a potential shop. Ceramic fish, when they add a card to get, uh, sorry, to your deck, gain nine gold. Okay. Got these slimes here. I don't think I can do tantrum here, can I? Uh, crush turns will kill one, but then I have 20 incoming from the other, and I don't really want to deal with that. So, yeah, I think instead I'll just do boot sequence, crush joints. Um, I don't even think I need the fragment, so let's just do a miracle collect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another five. I can do, you know what? Let's do double energy with a lot of energy kill this guy indignation is nice i do actually want to keep that and the next turn i think i should be able to kill let's do indignation claw and empty fist okay and then any attack any decent attack will kill this turn all right okay equilibrium white noise are valid all of these are good white noise yeah i feel like the watcher is a little weak on powers i'm having uh, i'm struggling thinking of a good power for the watcher um yeah, because all the good cards, omniscience and wish, they're they're um they're skills, not powers. So I'm not sure if white noise will be that great. I think maybe equilibrium might be a little better. Solid defensive card. All right, first elite, the sentries. I do start off with boot sequences, which is nice. Actually, I started with a lot of defensive cards. So let's do third eye. So aggregate would be good. Hologram would allow me to bring something useful back, right? I think I'll save it, and then I think I'll just double evaluate here. Do I want to do dark orb? Fine, let's do darkness here. 
maybe one dark orb would be nice okay and then this turn well i have a lot of energy with the aggregate but uh can i defend here so i have 19 yes i think i can i can do beam cell the fragment then hologram it has to be boot sequence right that's the only way i can fully defend here okay i have barely dealt any damage so far so let's see if i can keep this up equilibrium is nice i can't do tantrum though can i wait hang on if i do I'm trying to think what i can do here so equilibrium 13 i'll get 18 incoming if i end up in wrath so i can't really do that i could do the stack though right um well not next turn how do i do this so if i do tantrum then i have 18 incoming so then i can do equilibrium and stack and then next turn i can do crush joints rallying sleeves but then i would have to exit wrath and i'm not guaranteed that i can do that so let's not risk it let's just do equilibrium and then i think i can still do crush joints okay all right so let's see i was sort of hoping to be able to exit wrath here let me see what the insight gives me okay bowling bash is hang on hang on so if i do tantrum bowling bash will then do 42 so that kills the backliner and then if i'm in wrath this will also be six halt will actually give me a good amount of block plus the stack i think that's worth the risk right i still have a flying sleeves all right let's do tantrum then a bowling bash all right might as well do halt then uh, i do still need six block unless i can kill this guy with yes actually i can kill this guy right i can do claw and sash whip and then uh let me save the flying sleeves for later or use it now doesn't matter no i think i'll save it for later potentially okay all right, 18. Well, I did get stack. I also got the generic algorithm. I can fully defend with the wallop. I think that's what I'll do. Let's do wallop, then play the generic algorithm, and then I can just kill with flying sleeves. Oh, actually, I have two flying sleeves. That should be plenty, right? Uh, actually, with chill, I can kill two. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one, we got Art of War. If you do not play any attacks on your turn, get additional energy next turn. Uh, and yeah, with Big Game Hunter, all my uh, card awards will be rare cards. So I don't think I can go for the Popper modifier, which is nice if I can get an Omniscience. Uh, Seek will be generally good, but let's go with the Wish here. Okay. All right, Jawworm. Uh, let's start with a Wallop. Go for the Ice. Should I have done Crush Joints first? Uh, I guess it would not have hurt, but I think that's fine. There's another Wallop next turn. Good. Mm -hmm. Seven incoming. Let's do Wallop and sash whip okay worship might be a nice thing to have upgraded actually so that it doesn't discard all the time cut through fate is fine and then i think i can kill with the just lucky all right oh maybe i should have waited for genetic algorithm yeah i probably should do that more often claw rebound or flying sleeves let's go with the flying sleeves okay all right lagavulin uh i probably want to wait right uh yeah there's no rush here let's do third eye curate my next hand don't need this don't well actually i'll keep another third eye because i don't want to actually wake him next turn um yeah okay so i can do genetic algorithm the fragment do i want to do skim no let's do third eye again next turn i do want to wake him now um i would love to collect well hang on can i do skim and then collect yeah let's do that let's do skim miracle collect that way i'll have an upgraded miracle okay so this is, it's definitely risky to enter Wrath, but I think I have to risk it, especially because I basically just have Tantrum and Indignation, right? I didn't, well, I guess I have the Flying Sleeves. All right, let's try that. So I'm going to do, um, yeah, Tantrum. Should I do Indignation first? And I think the Vulnerability will help a lot. So let's do Tantrum, then Indignation, then Flying Sleeves, and another Flying Sleeves. Uh, 60 do damage is definitely a challenge, but is doable. I also have a Gambler's Brew here uh wish well actually with aggregate i can play the wish uh let me first make sure i can kill here cut through fate um i think i should be fine right nine times three no no i do need the bowling bash yeah because the tantrum would only do 27 so let's do tantrum and then i'll wish for gold and then kill here good okay we got wing boots you may ignore path and choosing the next room to travel to three times Ooh, that's expanding my possibilities quite a bit um of these rare cards Maybe Scrawl. I don't think I need Brilliance. Yeah, Electrodynamics is some nice OE. It's not super necessary. 
This is tough. I guess, yeah, no, I think Scrawl is better for the card draw. Let's take it. All right. So I do have Wing Boots. I don't think, well, I don't think it will help me here. I could use one charge to get one extra elite, but I think I'll, I'll keep this for, maybe I'll try to use one charge on Act 2 and uh, two charge on Act, Act 3, just because the elites on Act 3 are a little more valuable. We got Duality. Whenever you play an attack, gain one temporary dexterity. Okay. And then I am thinking of upgrading the wish first, right? Would be nice to have it upgraded if I'm playing it. There's nothing that will become an eight. Yeah, let's do the wish first. Why not? Also, once I have an omniscience, it'll be nicer to have the wish upgraded. All right, sentries again. I mean, yeah, sure. Might, might as well start with the aggregate. Then do cut through fate. Uh, yeah, well, I could do tantrum and then empty body. That seems a little unnecessary, though. But I guess it is damage. Yeah, no reason not to, right? Uh, so yeah, let's do Tantrum, and then Empty Body, uh, Evaluate, and, well, I didn't need the Evaluate, but I might as well, and come. Alright, next turn might be rough. I do have a good amount of potions, I can try to use those. So Wallop will allow me to fully defend if I can kill one of them, right? Which I cannot, right? If I do Indignation, the Wallop only does 18, and then I, well, hang on, 6 plus... Uh, 12. I think I should still be fine though, right? So let's do Indignation, then do Wallop, and then I can do Halt, and, uh, ooh, hang on, I do need the Evaluate. I did not think, okay, well, I'm, I'm still good. I thought I had enough without it, but no. Oh, and then now I'm still in Wrath. Uh-oh. I have to be a little careful here. Let's see what the inside gives me. I could exit with Empty Fist. Um, do I want to, though? I ha also have a stack, right? So I think what I can do is I can do Claw uh, and then Stack to be fully defended. And then I'll do Third Eye. The, yeah, there's another wall up next turn as well as a follow-up. I think that's good. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, let's do another um, Third Eye. Chill is fine too. Okay, I think this is good. Mm -hmm. All right, because here I can do Wallop to fully defend. Well, I do have to kill this guy, but that's not a problem. And then I can do Cut Through Fate. Oh, perfect. And I can get Flying Sleeves for later. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, let me see. Prostrate. Can I do, yeah, Flying Sleeves and then Sash Whip for a kill on this guy. And then another Flying Sleeves. And I should be able to kill... Fairly easily, worst case scenario with a fire potion. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well against the elite so far. Got happy flower. Read three turns, get extra energy as well as a smoke bomb, which I don't think I'll take. Another wish. Wait, no, no, no. I can't go for collective bonuses. Right, right. So I can't take another wish. Uh, wait, no. What am I talking about? Of course I'm going to go for collective bonuses. Yeah, because uh, I don't have any yet, but I do have lots of duplicates. Wow, that was that was a complete mess up on my part. Yeah, let's take the second wish then. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking if I, if I should use Dunging Boots, but no, I think it's too early. All right, let's do aggregate. Hang on, who's my final boss, by the way? Slime boss, okay. All right, so 14 energy. Let's do Wallop. Um, hang on, I can do Empty Fist as well. That's going to be 18, right? Uh, no, let's get rid of this guy. So Wallop and uh, Empty Fist, and then I can do Darkness, all right? All right, another eight. Uh, sure, let's do double energy. Uh, worship. I should have done the miracle, right? Because I was going to play the collect anyway. And then I can do evaluate. All right, let me do miracle collect here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, another eight. Yeah, I think I'll do the wish here. Yeah, let's wish for gold. Might as well, right? And then cut through fate. Uh, I think this is fine. I'm going to play another cut through fate, right? Uh, or should I do something with block? Uh, yeah, fine. Let's do Miracle, Defragment, and Equilibrium. Okay. Could have done the pressure points at two. I guess I would have killed the backliner. Uh, you know what? Better late than never. So let's do pressure points, kill this guy. Then do Wallop. Allows me to be fully defended. And then I'll wait. And then hopefully I'll have enough to kill next turn. Mm -hmm. So here I can do... Empty Fist and Claw to kill this guy. And then go for the Ice and Barrage. And then the Halt. Okay. Yeah, this is a, an easy fight. I'm just taking a little a little longer than usual. Should be an easy kill here. Good. 
All right, Flurry of Blows, Protect, or Empty Fist. I don't shift stances often enough for Flurry of Blows. I think Protect might be better. Empty Fist might help me with the Collector Bonus because I already have two copies, but let's go with the Protect. The fact that it stays in my hand is pretty nice. All right, um, so here, let's do Double Energy, Wallop. Mm -hmm. And then might as well do Leap and uh, Boot Sequence, sure. All right. Another 10. Yeah, I think I have to enter Wrath here, right? Uh, hang on. Should I enter Wrath first? Uh, so if I do Vulnerability, then this will be just 12. Whereas if I do Tantrum first, this will be also 12. So yeah, I think it's similar. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters. Uh, let's do Tantrum, Claw. Then I'll do Equilibrium, Steam Barrier. And then next turn, I can do Crush Joints. Although I'll be weak in next turn too, right? Okay, no one has attacked me, though. That's nice. Uh, let's do Crush Joints. Just Lucky is not enough, so I have to do... Well, let me see what this skim gives me first. Actually, let's do Just Lucky. Uh, Wallop is fine. Then do Skim. And then I'll do Miracle Wallop. Follow up. And unfortunately, I can't play the Wish here. Now, and I, I know that I said at the beginning I'm going to play the Genetic Algorithm more often, but that didn't happen. Uh, let's do... Uh, well, at least I can enter Wrath, so that's good. Or Exit Wrath, I mean. So go for the ice, uh, almost enough to kill. And then can fully defend here. And then any attack would allow me to kill. Um, you know what? I, I guess I'm trying to think. Fine, I'll wait one more turn just because I do want to try to get Genic Algorithm played on Act 1. Because I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen. Okay, fine. I'm not going to take damage for it, though. Alright, Stack Cool-Headed Prostrate. I think Stack is pretty good in such a large deck. All right, Lagavulin didn't fight the Grumman now, which is nice. Um, let's do Skim. Genetic Algorithm, at least I played once in a while. Um, yeah, if I do pressure points, the enemy will lose uh, HP. That means they'll, 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 he'll wake up. Uh, let's do Third Eye, curate my next hand. Don't need the attacks or the recycle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. I could play it safe and wish for plated armor, which I think I will do just to not risk not mi missing a perfect on this one. Um, and then I think I can wait. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah, kind of want to do worship, tantrum. I'm not sure if I should do empty fist. I might have to. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do worship, then tantrum. Then Flying Sleeves, and then Empty Fist. I don't want it to be stuck in Wrath. Um, 18. Uh, well, if I was stuck in Wrath, I could have exited it. Uh, I only have 15, though, right? I need a little bit extra. Uh, let's do... I don't even think I'll do Turbo. Let's use the Gambler's Brew. Actually, no. Let's do the uh, Let's do the Silk Chaos. Even if I enter Wrath, I have the Empty Body. Um, hang on. Uh, stack does give me enough block, right? So maybe I'll do the... Um, I guess I don't have Tantrum, right? Let's do the Follow-Up. Okay, so then I can do uh, Turbo, Flying Sleeves, Follow Up, Flying Sleeves again. And then I'll do Miracle and Collect, okay. Mm -hmm. Another 18. Uh, well, the stack is enough, right? Yeah, so I can do that. Just Lucky. Protect this probably necessary. I think I'm going to try to kill here as soon as I can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just need 32 more damage. Yeah, I can do Tantrum. Indignation, and then the Miracle. See what the Crawl gives me. Uh, oh, perfect. I can also play a Wish for Gold. Good. Then the Claws. Okay, perfect. All right, we got Vajra. So I just come with one Strength, as well as all for one. Yeah, I have a lot of zero-cost cards, and I don't want the other cards uh, at all, pretty much. All right, next upgrade. Should that be Wallop? Or something like the um, Protect? Now, let's upgrade the other Wish first. Yeah, possibly controversial decision, but I think it might the extra gold might be helpful. All right, let's start with cut through fate, sash whip. I do need to deal enough damage here. Sash whip again, okay. I do have a fire push. I might use it here as well. Cut through fate. Uh, I can't do wish here. Let's keep the empty fist though. Um, empty fist and then empty fist again, okay. At least I can transform with the fire push, and if I if needed, but ideally I would deal. Much more damage. Oof, this is not it. I am considering the Gamma Spur, but no, no, I, I think I should save it, right? Yeah, this is only 10 damage. That's not 
really enough. Let, let me try to get something better, actually. Uh, I mean, it's, it's slightly better, I guess. Uh, let's do hold. I do want to play the scrawl here. Let's do that. Okay, well, there's a way for me to, to enter Wrath and get a bunch of energy, right? So let's do Aggregate Indignation, then Crush Joints, Flying Sleeves, all for one for a kill. Yeah, I think that was better. Yeah, I, I used the Gambler's Brew, but I was able to perfect this one. Buffer, Master Reality, Reboot. I don't think I need these two. Let's go with the Buffer. Okay. And then here, I mean, I should try to go for the Curse Modifier. So let's go with the Curse Key, get energy start of your turn. One of you upon a non-boss chest to obtain a curse. Okay. The extra energy is always nice. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so looking for five elite path, but no, I'm seeing a lot of four elite paths again. So if I stick on the, and again, they're, uh, yeah, similar to on the last act on the left side. Oh, wait, but I do have the, um, hang on, I have a wing boots. Uh, I am, th I think I'm going to use it once here. Um, I could use it twice. And, wait, can I use it twice to get six elites? Because if that's possible, I might do that. So the four elite paths on the left, I don't think I can use it to get uh, six elites. I think even if I use it f twice, I'll be five elites, right? So I can go to this elite and jump over once, jump over twice again, and then another. No, no. Yeah, even I don't think there's any way I can do six elites here, even if I jump all three times. Because they alternate, right? So these elites are on the same floor. But then here you have an alternation, and then here you have an alternation as well. So you can't, you'd can't. you have to dr jump back and forth twice, which means you need four jumps. Yeah, in that case, I do want to jump once. So I think at the end... No, wait. How do I do this? One, two, three. Oh, I can't even do five elites without jumping twice. I was hoping to jump once. No, I can't. If I stick on the left and jump over at the end, I'll get, I'll get five elites, right? Um, okay, so if I do that, I'll get, uh, yeah, I can go for a shop path, only two question marks, but I think that's okay. Uh, all right, so yeah, let's go this way. All right, Sheld Parasite, a little dangerous to do Tantrum, but I think it's uh, not a bad idea because I have boot sequence in Third Eye. So let's do Third Eye, well, actually, let me play some more attacks, so let's do Bowling Bash, Cut Through Fate, and I can actually exit Wrath with uh, Empty Body, right? Uh, empty Fist, I mean. Sure, why not? That makes my life a little easier. Okay, I dealt a lot of damage there, too. Um, I can also do buffer. Uh, hang on, is the alpha one going to give me back anything? No. Um, yeah, let's do buffer, evaluate, and then I'll play the collect. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's do crush joints. A wallop will give me a good amount of block. And actually, I can kill here. Good. All right. Rebound prostrate or leap. Let's go with the prostrate because I know I have another copy of it. Okay. Spirit Guardian. Um, let me see what the skim gives me. Uh, yeah, I guess I can do something like claw, sash whip, all for one. And then claw again. Sure. And then here, yeah, I kind of want to get the gold. I do have a shop coming up. I think I'll take the 10 damage. Let's do wish for gold here. And then I can do scrape and uh, prostrate for some block. Okay. 20 incoming. Uh, well, good thing I have the stacks. Uh, let's just do both stacks. That allows me to be fully defended. And then I can do, well, yeah, I might as well do flying knee and follow up. Uh, flying sleeve, sorry. Flying knee is a different card, green card. Let's do aggregate buffer. Just lucky gives me streamline next turn and then flying sleeves and evaluate. Okay, I'm going to lose my buffer here, which is fine. Okay, can I deal 30? Ah, there's another wish. Yeah, fine. I'll accept damage. I do have a shop coming up, so that's why I'm, I kind of want to gain as much gold as possible. Let's play the empty body just because I, I want to avoid taking too much damage here. And then 18 seems very doable, um, but hang on. Let's do Empty Fist. Actually, Stack does it, right? Okay. All right. And then here, let's do kind of worried about Indignation. Um, well, it will deal a good amount of damage. Let's do Indignation, then Empty Fist, uh, and then just defend here. Okay. Yeah, I definitely took... I used the Wish twice, but I definitely took a lot of damage here. That was... Probably not all necessary. Compile driver sash whip or ball lightning. I don't think I have any two of these. Let's take the sash whip. Okay. 
duplicate a card in your deck. Yes, uh, that should be something upgraded, ideally. Uh, I'm also considering duplicating... Actually, I probably should be a wish now I think about it. I am considering duplicating my only Wrath card at this point, which is Tantrum. But no, let's go with the upgraded wish. Okay. All right, Snake Plant. Uh, let's start with... Uh, wow, that's, I mean, not much I can do. Play all the defensive cards here. Uh, this would allow me to fully defend, so let's keep the Protect for later. Mm -hmm. 21, Aggregate is great. I don't think I can do an Ignition, actually. Not if, I, not if I don't have a way to exit Wrath once I enter it. I do have a lot of energy. Can I kill here? I don't think I can. Let's do... Yeah, wait, even if I... 20, no, no, there's. I don't think there's any way I can um, survive if I enter Wrath. So, unless I can kill, which is doable. Fine, fine, let's do it. So, I'll do Indignation. And then uh, Steam Bear... No, uh, let me play Attacks first. So, Flying Sleeves, Flying Sleeves. Then All for One. Okay. And then a Beam Cell. Okay, I messed up. The reason I messed up is I was hoping to use the Steam Barrier again. But, um, hang on, I have 42 incoming, right? So I have to play the Protect there as well. And I know he's not attacking me next turn, so I think I should be fine. Okay, and then I can do Tantrum at the end. Let's do Bowling Bash, follow up, and then... Oh, that's enough, good. Got a Skill Potion, another Indignation. Yes, let's have another way to enter Wrath. All right, and here I have a lot of gold. I think Orange Pellets might be nice. Let's take it. One of you play power, attack, and skill in the same turn. Remove all of your debuffs. I'd also like Gary. You can I gain strength and rest science up to three times. And then Whetstone, up and pick up, upgrade two random attacks. That's a Slang Sleeve and Tantrum upgrade. The Tantrum upgrade is pretty nice. Let's also take Steam Barrier, FDL. I'll take a Barrage just because I have a few copies of that. Don't think I need a, the potions, and I can't afford the Discovery. I probably don't need Drink Algorithm. So, yeah, decent shop. Okay. All right, Book of Stabbing. Uh, let's start with Double Energy, Equilibrium. And I'll keep the rest for later, for next turn. Okay. 18. Uh, Wallop is nice. Can I get something else? No, no. Let's do Cut Through Fate. Um, I'll take the Prostrate just so I can play the buffer next turn. And then Sash Whip. All right, that's down to 12. I can do Wallop. And prostrate to be fully defended. And uh, no reason to play anything else. Okay. Alright, 21. So here I can just defend with a buffer, right? Which I think I'll do. Let's also do the prostrate. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, let's still damage. So I'll do empty fist and pressure points. Okay. Mm -hmm. 24. Well, I do have a go for the ice, which is nice. I also have stacks, which are definitely going to be useful. I cannot enter Wrath here, though. That's uh, that's something I can't do. Um, so let's just do... Yeah, let's just do stack. And I do wonder if I should... Well, let's play one of the Flying Sleeves, and I can do Evaluate as well. Okay. Mm -hmm, 30. Uh, so I don't think I can deal over 100 damage here, right? Let me do. Let me start with the aggregate. Let me see what the skill potion gives me. Uh, well, nothing that allows me to defend against thirty, though. Yeah. So, I guess in that case, between evaluate and force field, force field just deals more damage. So let's do force field. Let me calculate this real quick. So if I do crush joints, then streamline under wrath will be thirty-two with uh, vulnerabilities forty-eight. Um, so together with the nine here. Um, wait, no, that assumes, hang on, I thought I'll be in Wrath. Yeah, never mind, I can't even enter Wrath. Uh, I mean, I can still worship, but yeah, it's not going to do anything. All right, unfortunately, not much I could have done here. Yeah, unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I think I could have gotten lucky, but ultimately I didn't. Uh, if I'm already taking damage, do I want to just play the Wish? Uh, yeah, ooh, should have done the follow-up first. Yeah, that was silly. Uh, let me do... Well, I can still do it with uh, Claw and then do Stack. Okay. Mm -hmm. 36 incoming. That is that is a lot. Let's do FTL. Cut through Fate. Uh, hologram is fine. I can get a uh, Stack back, uh, which I think I will, uh, which is right here. Okay. And then I think I'll do... Well, Wallop is only 10 damage. Instead, I can do Bowling Bash and Flying Sleeves. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and then 21 again let's see what the inside gives me uh yeah i'm gonna do another wish here yeah i am i am just greedy here but i think it'll be worth it uh claw i don't think it's necessary next turn and then let's do evaluate um actually no let's do empty body miracle and then third eye that allows him to be fully defended good and then i think i should be able to go next turn yeah because i have the uh, tantrum and wallop okay all right, we got Cloak Clasp at the end of your turn. Gain one block for each card in your hand. That's really nice, as well as a Power Potion. And uh, sure, I'll go for another Scroll for the Potential Collector bonus. Oh, uh, no, actually, let me lift here. Out of 68 cards, I think having extra strength is more important than having one of those 68 upgraded. Okay. So, Slavers, Genetic Ogum. See, if that was a little better, it would have definitely helped more. Um, so, I mean, let's do Beam Cell... And then I can do 8, uh, 11 is 19, 27. I'm getting attacked for 32. What can I do here? Um, well, actually, if I do Barrage, even though that doesn't do any damage, it gives me more decks. So that's 18 plus... No, that's still 30 only. I mean, is the Power Potion able to give me anything? Hello World. This, actually, I think it would. It will give me something if I just don't play it. So if I do generic algorithm, empty body, and boot sequence, then the closed class is going to give me the extra two remaining block that I need. Okay. That was turn one. I have to think of the rest. Um, yeah, I think this is where my luck stops, unfortunately. Yeah, it was definitely... It was definitely... It relied a lot on luck for me to be able to perfect this one, and I just wasn't able to get it. Which is fine. Taking a lot of damage here. I have to be a little careful. Especially since I'll be vulnerable this turn. Well, there's this, uh, the Wallop and the Sash Whip. Uh, let's do Sash Whip you. Okay, so I still have 23 incoming. I still have to be use, uh, careful. Let's also do Wallop. And then I'll do Evaluate. And I'm going to throw the Fire Potion because I'm a little worried about this fight now. Okay. Mm -hmm. 13 HP left. I have 14 incoming. Okay, here I might do the Wish, right? Uh, let's do... Hang on. Can I enter Wrath? Can I hologram something that... Oh, I could hologram an empty body. Uh, yeah, let's hologram the empty body. Then do Indignation. Halt. Something like Flying Sleeves and Follow Up. Okay. Actually, now I don't even have to exit Wrath. All right. And then Wish for Gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 14. Uh, let's do Cut Through Fate. Empty Fist is fine here. Uh, well, actually, I can fully defend with the stack, but might as well do Empty Fist, right? Um, or I can do Worship, sure. Okay. All right, 14. Let's do Claw. Just lucky. Probably don't need this. I think I should be able to kill if I draw some good um, attacks. Yeah, that should be enough. Good. All right, we've got Lizard Tail. One of you die heal to 50% of your max HP instead. Works only once, which is kind of useful. useful. I'm low on HP. And then between Devotion, I don't think I need Establishment, although there's some... Wait, hang on. The uh, Equilibrium allows me to retain, so if I had Establishment active, everything in Equilibrium would be cheaper. But no, I think Devotion might be better. Okay. Curse number one, Doubt, as well as Smiling Mask. The Merchant's Card removes always, now always costs 50 gold. Okay. And then Book of Stabbing. Again. And again, I'm not super well prepared here, but I can do Claw, Empty Fist... And then boot sequence. And let's also do Miracle and Collect, minus one. Mm -hmm. Alright, 18. Um, I'd like to defend against this, but I don't think I can hologram. Well, I don't think stack would be useful. I could hologram a third eye. Yeah, that would be enough. Let's do third eye. Devotion would be nice to play next turn. Let's get. Well, actually, Sash would be nice too. And then let's hologram the third eye there. Okay, so that should allow me to be fully defended. And uh, I don't think I'll do Scrape because I'll lose a bunch of good cards. I did want to do Buffer. That didn't happen. I should have played the Miracle, right? There's no reason not to. Yeah, there's... Well, I don't think I would have made a big difference here, but it might have... Actually, well, it would have helped if I had the Buffer here, right? All right, fine. Uh, let's do Devotion, a Beam Cell, a Sash Whip. I can't do the Tantrum here. Okay. So let me assume that I had the Buffer. Can I continue to Perfect here? 24 incoming. Also, I kind of have to because my HP is low, right? So... If I want it or not, I have to try to perfect. Let me see. So, 
Uh, let's do barrage and flying sleeves. Okay. And then I'm trying to think if I can get by wishing for gold or if I have to go for the plated armor. Uh, well, I have stacks, so I think I should be fine. Uh, all right. In that case, let's uh, wish for gold. I might as well do value. Okay. Mm -hmm. 30. Yeah, this is what I was a little worried about. Um, let's do double energy. So I should be fine in terms of energy next turn. I would like the Sash Whip. Let's get a reverse cycle. All right, so I can do Cut Through Fate, take the Sash Whip, and then weaken him down to 20, uh, which I then can fully defend with the Equilibrium. I don't think I need the Flank Sleeves. Let's keep it until I'm in Wrath. All right, and another 21. Wallop is nice. Um, actually, I have a stack again. So let's do Stack, Wallop, and then Flying Sleeves. Okay. Mm-hmm. 36, I am in Divinity now, perfect. Uh, so I can do follow-up, Sash Web, and then Claw for Kill, good. All right, got Blood Vial at the Starvish Combat, heal two HP, as well as, I already have another Alpha one, so let's go for a second. And then I'm jumping over to, no, after the lead. well, I could, I guess I could jump now, but the paths are pretty much identical. I could jump over on the right, that'll still give me two leads and a question mark room, right? Uh, well, plus an extra rest set, let's do that, because I do want to get, um, to get some strength at the rest site. Okay, again, not the best draw here. Um, I don't think I can do an ignition again. So let's do pressure points, um, claw. Actually, I'm gonna, well, yeah, let's try the best to defend here. So boot sequence and stack. I might have to uh, use the lizard tail here, actually. Yeah, has to. All right. Well, I'm back at half HP, so that's good. We got aggregate halt. Actually, let's play some attacks first. Let's do chill first, then cut through fate. I'm hoping for more attacks here. All right, well, which is fine. I guess I can play for gold. And then halt and empty body. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I'm vulnerable here. So quite a bit of incoming. The stack is not yet, not yet useful. Let's do Claw, Empty Fist, then I'll do Barrage, Darkness, and um, Stack. Okay, well, at least I'm not dead. Mm -hmm. It is getting close to me being dead, though, so I have to be careful. Um, so let's do Double Energy, Steam Barrier. Then I can kill this guy with All for One. Good. All right, and then let's do Devotion. Uh, before I play the Hulk, let's do the Claws. All right, and then Steam Barrier, Hulk, and I should have done the Barrage sooner too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 14. Um, so I can kill this guy by doing Sash Whip and Bowling Bash. I will take some damage, but I think that's okay. Let's wish for gold here. Okay, because I wasn't perfect in this one, right? Yeah, I, I died, basically. I had to use the Lizard Tail. Um, so here I'll just do wall up sash whip. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then seven incoming. I think I should be fine here. Let's do well prostrate at the end. Let's do streamlined flying sleeves and then prostrate. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, it's the run taking a little longer than usual. Well, okay, I'm divinity, so this should be fast. Okay, I've got Preserved Insect. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less HP as well as a Duplication Potion. Both are good. Let's take a Collector Bonus on Wish then. Um, going this way, right? I could... Wait, hang on. Um, how many at least I have already? One, two, three, four. Oh, so I could jump in one more time to get five, six elites. But no, let's keep two more charges of the Wing Boots for the next act. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Sometimes the Act 3 just doesn't have any opportunity for you to maximize elites. But we'll uh, definitely give it a try. Um, well, this would give me a collector bonus. And I'm just losing a, um, a Blood Bowl, which I don't really need. Let's do it. Okay. All right, Book of Stabbing again. Um, so 12 incoming, I should be fine. Let's wish for, I think this time I'll wish for plate armor just because of these fights have been going so poorly. Come. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then 18. Um, I, I do have uh, some ways to exit wrath, so let's do tantrum. And then, well, I guess I can just do empty fist. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, prostrate, third eye. 
probably don't need to recycle here and then empty body okay all right 21 um so here let's do crush join there's no way i can fully defend here though right chill third eye even if i duplicate it well if i duplicate it hang on so i have 10 19 yeah if i don't play anything else i think i should be fine yeah because i have exactly 21 good thanks to the uh cloak clasp too all right so here let's do all for one beam cell claw that's it good finally able to perfect that fight we got captain's will at the start of your third turn gained 18 block as well as a strength potion and i'll go for another scroll then okay all right last point of strength good all right let's see what the champ has to offer here not getting attacked in the first turn that's a good sign let's do prostrate streamline all for one prostrate again okay all right 12 incoming i probably should do a buffer here right yeah actually i'll lose it immediately but i don't have any better options so let's do that and then uh, i mean i could double indignation that seems a little too much though i think instead i'll just do bite and then third eye um this is fine i think okay all right there goes my buffer i'm vulnerable luckily he's not attacking though uh let's do worship that allow me to enter wrath easily when needed go for the ice i can do scrawl oh there's an aggregate okay and a double energy all right too bad i don't have any x cost cards let's do empty fist flying sleeves third eye uh, well there's another wish coming up fine and then uh just do another evaluate okay it's a lot 23 energy left over that's a lot all right he's still not attacking uh let's go for plate armor this is too important for me to be greedy then uh, bowling bash okay all right 18 what to do here so let's start with ftl Ooh, genetic algorithm that's 11 i'm getting there not exactly where i want it to be but close enough then do follow up and then genetic algorithm all right i can do prostrate oh i did not realize i was yeah that was a mistake did not realize i was going to enter the div uh, divinity once i play the pros uh, prostrate and now i'm exiting it again that's a little on poor planning on my part honestly all right so here i think i have to do both third eye and the empty body tantrum next turn might be interesting okay and then bite and flying sleeves all right okay so i think it's worth it yeah see well i have two turns and then i'll exit wrath right so let's do tantrum here just a shame that i don't have anything else any other attack to play so let's just do darkness and barrage okay mm -hmm. he's still not attacking all right um let's do sash whip i was hoping to transform him here but i can't uh, i think i'll go for milk plated armor okay mm -hmm. 54 uh so if i do tantrum i'll exit wait oh i miscalculated i thought i'll be in divinity now uh oh uh wait but i did okay no i can't exit enter divinity i think the way i do that is uh well let's do the miracle first then all for one and then yeah prostrate will allow me to enter wrath right or enter divinity uh sure let me do the tantrum first though then do prostrate seems like a little bit of a waste of a prostrate but fine and then i can fully defend here with a steam barrier and let's do another collector cup right, so now it's going to transform and unfortunately not in the divinity stance anymore uh although anything i can hologram not really i could hologram an aggregate but i don't really have card draw uh let's do turbo I'm trying to think what i could because uh, i i do feel like i should hologram something all for one maybe does provide some nice attacks uh let's go for even more plated armor and then hologram the all for one all right then i'll do claw and all for one all right not a bad amount of cards here FTL just lucky wallop is fine next turn then the prostrates and I think that's it okay all right lots of incoming luckily I'm not frail anymore or vulnerable I mean so let's start with the crush joints 
All right, let's play the miracles. Play the skim. So I can do this. Is what I'll do. I'll do tantrum, then wallop, and then I have 29 blocks. So I can exit wrath if needed. Uh, wait, is it needed? 18 plus 29 is not enough to kill. So let's do halt. I'll do empty fist, and then uh, I am fully defended. Should have done this a little sooner. Okay. Mm -hmm. 20 incoming. And I'm in Divinity here. Awesome. All right, perfected this one, right? Yeah, I perfected it. Good. And then another scroll. I think that's... Is that my fourth? I feel like I've been picking up a lot of scrolls. It is my fourth, all right? Collective bonus on that. Okay. Between... Uh, oof. This one is a little rough. So, actually... Well, I don't really need extra energy. I'm thinking the Sacred Bark double the effect is the potions. I mean, this will give me extra relic, but for the score, I think this is more important. Let's take it. All right, sorry about that. I uh, paused the game so that I wouldn't lose a lot of time. Although I am not probably... Well, let's try to do it in less than an hour, though that might be a little difficult. All right, I have two uh, charges of the wing boots. Can I use that to hit multiple elites? Um, I do see a five elite path. Can I make it a six elite path? I don't think I can. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, no, actually, I can. I can. Yeah, I can make an acyclic path that, that will require. So basically, I have to go to one of these, jump over one, and then jump over again. That's the best path. And actually, if I jump over to the right side, I'll get... Uh, no, actually, I have to stick on the left side there to get uh, four more elites after this point. Yeah, that's only on the left side there. Okay. Um, I don't think I'll get enough curses, but yeah. Anyway, uh, up until this point, probably going with on this path. Actually, there are two four question mark room path. I can take either one of them. All right. All right, got the spiky here. I could do boot sequence or I can try to fully defend here. Let's do boot sequence. I don't think I'll do, I'll attack the spike at all. Let's try to gain some blo uh, block here, which is nice. I can do sash whip and empty fist. Actually, yeah, I've got to have extra strength that killed. Okay. Should have done the attacks first be before getting the block, actually. All right, nine incoming. I can do wallop. I kind of want to do wish for gold here, actually. Yeah, let me do that. Let's wish for gold with the miracle. Okay. I have to figure out a way to kill this exploder next turn. Mm -hmm. um, uh, another wish. Very unfortunate. At least I can kill this guy. Let's do that and then wish for more gold. Okay. Guy's already s uh, five spikes. Another wish. All right. Double energy first, then wish for gold. I can do genetic algorithm and uh, yeah, I can do flying sleeves. Okay. Well, let's also do a go for the ice, okay. Mm -hmm. Seven. Uh, I think wallop should work here, right? Because I'll get the block before I get attacked. Yep. And then let me see if the flying sleeves gives me anything. Or I could kill by taking damage, but let me see if I can get some block first. Yeah, not really, right? Uh, let's just evaluate. Okay. Next round I'll be weakened. Actually, I could have done another attack. I forgot about the cloak class. Okay, so um, let's do devotion and then collect, and then I think I should be good here. Basically, I can kill once I enter wrath, uh, divinity, or I can do something like um, miracle scrawl. Okay, there is a stack, which means I can do something like cut through fate, and um, and flying me, uh, flying sleeves. Okay. All right, capacitor is just like your follow-up. Uh, I should try to get collective bonuses. Let's take the just lucky at this point. Okay. Uh, ooh, no. Can't lose 700 gold. Even though I don't have a guaranteed shop on this path, but I should definitely try to at least go for something. I don't think I'll, I'll lose the turbo. I can lose safely one bite, right? And I still have the collective bonus on that. All right. Got another relic here. Okay. So I can do not the best turn here, but let's do beam cell, evaluate and put sequence. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's quite a bit of incoming here. Um, let me do claw wallop, then steam barrier. Um, I can actually, I'm almost fully. Let's do the stack cube deep protect for later. Okay. Yeah, I do need to deal some damage here. These guys scale very quickly. Uh, let's do Bowling Bash. See what the Scrawl gives me after playing the Miracle. Okay. 
All right, I don't think I can do indignation here. Uh, let's do. I'm trying to think if there's nothing I can do to that allows me to exit wrath. No. I think I'll. Yeah, this is tough. Let's do cut through fate. Yeah, there's a wish that I can't play it. Well, I could do the empty body, right? But I don't have. Well, I don't really have energy for that. Um, so in that case, let me just focus on block then. Uh, I can do stack. Actually, 42. I sh I think I should be fully defended this way, and then I guess I can do bite. Yeah, a little bit of a shame. At least I'm not taking any damage, but. Okay, 38. I can do go for the ice streamline. Claw and then protect. Yeah, that does allow me to be fully defended. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plus 12 strength already. Yeah, I really need to start killing here. Let's do all for one. And then I can do beam cell claw. Let's do turbo as well. And then I can double steam barrier. No, let's do. Yeah, let's do leap steam barriers. And then I'll wish for gold here. I think basically if it's not an elite fight, I think I, I'm gonna try to wish for gold. I'll be I'll be weakened again. 30 incoming. Well, aggregate is nice, but I don't think I'll be very useful. Yeah, great. Didn't even get an attack card, so I can use the sash whip. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that would have saved me a bunch of HP. Oof, down to 48. Uh, at least I can kill with the uh, wallop. Let me see if I get like something like genetic algorithm here. Not really. All right, let's just kill with the wallop. That's unfortunate. Took a bunch of damage there. We got incense burner every six turns. Gain one intangible. Very nice. And then between these, I'll go with the carve reality. Even though, hang on, awake him at the end. All right, fine. Uh, I said I'm gonna do a jump right here. Right. So let's get there first. All right, orb walker again. Uh, again, I think I'll go for the gold here. All right. Let's do scrape. Okay, follow up and then stack is uh, enough gold, uh, enough block thanks to the uh, cloak clasp. Okay, 13. Uh, yeah, don't have a lot of attacks. Can I hologram something useful? I could hologram a wish. Then I would have trouble defending, which I think is fine. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hologram the wish, gain some gold, and then. Um, I could do something like, yeah, let's do the evaluate here too. That way I don't take any damage. Yep. All right, 21. I should be basically full of defense here. Let's do generic algorithm all for one. Okay. And then uh, let's do sash whip carve reality. All right. Could have done the bite, tried to heal back a little bit, but I think this is okay. 19. Uh, turbo beam cell. Let's do scrawl. Okay, and then I can do Tantrum and... Yeah, I should have done a Bite first. Oh, well. Claw, Halt, or Empty Fist. I'm going to look for if I'm close to collector bonuses on any of them. I only have two Empty Fists, right? And I think I have one Claw. No, I have two Claws too. Ugh. Tough choice. And I think I have two Halts too. Uh, let's go with an Empty Fist there. I would like to be able to exit Wrath sometimes. All right, Nemesis. Okay, I think I have to do the scrawl here. Let's do turbo. Um, I'll do equilibrium, then do scrawl. Okay. If I do tantrum, I might not be able to exit wrath. And I might need to be able to exit wrath next turn. On the other hand, I would deal a lot of damage. Let's risk it. So I'll do tantrum, beam cell. Then um, let's do cut through fate. I think I have to do carve reality here. And then I think I can kill. Awesome. All right. One turn kill there. Got Mumfight Hand. One of you play a power card around card in your hand because zero that turn. As well as Blasphemy is a little too dangerous. I think I'll go with the Machine Learning. Although I do have the Awaken one, so I don't think I'll upgrade it. All right. Jump number one. Or number two, I guess, total. Reptomancer. I'm intangible here, so I think I'll do Tantrum. Uh, let's do... Let's start with Tantrum. I would like to do Crush joints um but i don't think i need to so i think i'll just do crush joints without playing a skill first and then wallop let's risk it I'm also risk it because there's a significant chance i might be able to kill if not i'm gonna have trouble with the uh minions because i realize now i don't have good aoe here 22 32 is um 54 
I just need one other attack. Well, I guess I guess I have the hologram, right? Or just lucky for that matter. Flying sleeves and then just lucky to kill. Awesome. Okay. Perfect this one too. Got toxic egg one of you add a skill into deck upgraded as well as a strength potion and it's a little too late for a lesson learned. I don't really need Amplify. Don't really need Conjure Blade, but sometimes I, sometimes I wish I had an x cross card, right? So let's take it for those times. And then I decided to... Actually, I decided I have to stick on the left to get four more elites, right? Okay. All right, Giant Head. Can I deal more than 100 damage here? I would like that very much. Let's do Miracle. Uh, hang on. I can't do... Well, I do have Sash, so I think Boot Sequence is fine. And then let's do Scrawl. Okay. I don't think I can play more than 20 cards here. Uh, anything I can do with Hologram? Not really. Uh, let's do... Go for the Ice. Equil uh, I don't think I need Equilibrium. Let's do Sash Whip so that he's weakened next turn as well. Devotion. And then um, I guess I can do something like... Well, the Barrage is free. You know what? Let me see if the Scroll... Well, let's do Barrage first. Let me see if the Scroll gives me some sort of energy. Yeah, not really. All right. Um, so then I'll do Prostrate, Cut Through Fate, and, uh, well, I guess I can do Turbo. I was not counting cards, but I don't think I'm close to the 20, though. All right. And then I can finish up on... Should I do Indignation? Yeah, I should be able to fully defend against that, right? Let's give that a try. And might as well do Flying Sleeves there. Okay. It's definitely a risk, but I think I'm willing to take that on. Let's do double energy here. Chill. Genetic algorithm all for one. All right. And then go for the ice. Prostrate. And, well, I can exit Wrath with the Empty Fist. Uh, let me do Turbo Steam Berry Evaluate and then Empty Fist for 40, 52 damage. All right. I was hoping for more, but that's fine. Okay. Still not getting attacked here. I can re-enter Wrath with the Tantrum. Let's do that. Then Beam Cell, Sash Whip, Claw, and Just Lucky. Actually, that kills. All right. Didn't get either of you overkill on combo modifiers there, but that's fine. We've got Unseizing Top. One of you have no cards in hand during your turn. Draw a card. That's nice. And then I think I have to go for another all for one here. Mm -hmm. All right. Got Wraith as well as Potion Belt. I'm picking up getting two potion slots. Okay. Good thing I have that because I also have the Sacred Bark, right? Okay. So I think killing on the first turn might be a challenge here. Uh, yeah, don't need the stack. I'll take the flying sleeve, sure. I think I might play it here too, right? I don't see a reason not to. Uh, let's just do flying sleeves and that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I am tangible here. That's great. And yeah, there's a conjure blade. So let's do aggregate. Gain lots of energy that way. Then do claw. I'll do third eye. Wallop is great next turn. Okay, so then yeah, let's do conjure blade. That's 9 times 21 damage. I just have to draw it in the right turn. Okay, unfortunately, that's not going to count for the overkill modifier either, though. I am fully defended here. Let me wish for... All right, I'm going to be greedy and wish for gold here. I did say I was going to try to avoid doing that in elite fights, but... Um, let's see the wallop. Okay. Mm -hmm, yeah, 45. I mean, not sure if having played armor would have saved me here, but it... Definitely would have helped. Although, hang on. So, let's do Sash Whip. That's down to 33. If I double play the Protect, that's 26. That's not enough, right? Is the Alpha 1 going to give me anything? It could give me... St Actually, no. That will give me some nice things here. So, let's do the Alpha 1. And then, hang on. So, let's do Claw. Okay. So, if I do Boot Sequence, Steam Barrier, Protect, that's 13, 15, 28... 37. Uh, is that enough? I was trying to think if I should drink the duplication potion, but I don't think I have to. Yeah, let's do Miracle. I calculated that correctly, right? 28, just from these two. Um, and then another 9. Yeah, so I can do Boot Sequence, Protect, and then Prostrate. I don't even need the Steam Barrier. Okay. Alright, uh, here... Again, should I wish for gold? No, I think I should focus on attack. So let's do Beam Cell, just lucky. Follow up is probably not needed next turn. Claw, Wallop, and then Flying Sleeves. Oof, close, but not enough. I might have considered drinking a Strength Potion here. That would have been enough last turn. 45 again. Yeah, I might have to suffer because of that possible error. Um, 
Let's see, can I double play anything here? I don't think so. I could double play the wish. That'll give me 16 plus another six. No, I don't think there's anything I can do here. So just drink the strength potion. Uh, in that case, well, hang on. If I double play the wish, that's going to be 16 and then another 12. So that's 28. No, no, that's not going to be enough, right? Whatever I do. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's do bite first. Okay. So now it's going to be 16 plus 14. So that's 30 plus another four. That's 34. Another five is 39. That actually gets me somewhat close, but not close enough. In that case, let me not waste the duplication potion. So let's get plated armor here still because I do need some block, but... Um, Ooh, see if I knew I was gonna get good go for the ice. Yeah, if I knew that I would have I would have used the duplication potion, but there's no way I could have known that, right? Yeah, no way I could have known that. Oh well. Okay. And then yeah, unfortunately I got the buffer a little too late here. Yeah. Tough. Oh well. We got peace pipe, you can now remove cards from your deck at rest sets and as well as the entropic rue. That's huge. That that might help against the final boss. Uh Deva form might be nice here. Let's take it. Don't really need the other cards, I think. Okay. Uh well, there's no way I can get enough curses, right? So I think I'll remove the curses I have. The Wraith in particular, that makes my opening hand really poor. And I mean I mean, every time going for curses is a risk, right? But you know. Theoretically, you always have a chance of getting it, so I, I'm I'm happy that I gave it a try. Uh, this time, I'm not feeling super confident, so let's get rid of the minions first. So I, I think I'll do pressure points, empty fist, go for the ice. All right, and then third eye. Uh, indignation might be interesting next turn. Let's keep all the cards. Okay. All right, everyone's attacking me. Okay, so I can't really do indignation. I also can't really defend in any way, right? Uh, hang on. Can I kill the backliner? No, not with the just lucky. Let's do sash. I kind of want to sash with this guy too. Uh, let me drink the strength potion because then I can kill this guy with a just lucky. Okay. And then I can also sash with this guy. That way I don't take too much damage. I still take a bunch, but not a lot. And then conjure blade. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so definitely want to wallop here. Uh, yeah, let's do wallop. Then empty body. That allows me to be fully defended. Uh, and I think I have to kill this guy, right? Yeah, let's do flying sleeves as well. A little bit of a waste of flying sleeves, but what can you do? Okay, another 30. This guy just doesn't want to let go. The alpha one is going to give me back boot sequence and go for the ice at least. So that's useful. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Awful one. Then go for the ice. Just lucky. Scrawl is fine next turn. And then I could do boot sequence. Um, no, let me do third eye. Get rid of the doubt. Okay. And then boot sequence and uh, might as well do the fragment. Okay. And a free worship. Why not? Mm -hmm. Not getting attacked here. Um, so let's do crush joins beam cell. Then scrawl. Scroll off the miracle. Uh, okay, I can do double energy. Kind of want to do the wishes for gold, but I don't think I need gold here. Let's instead wish for plated armor, actually. Twice. Yep. I think that's a safe thing to do. And then just lucky. Okay. I am past the one hour mark. Wow, all right. Okay, 39. Sash whip, buffer. Can I kill here, actually? If I do sash whip, that's 24, and then the flying sleeves are enough, right? Okay. Alright. Didn't perfect this one, but I got Dead Branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card into your hand. Very nice. This was the Improja potion, which is really good. I don't have any of these, but I probably am okay with the Core Searcher. Wait, do I have... Yeah, I think I'll get enough relics, right? Because I still have a, an Elite fight here. And let's remove the other... A curse which is the doubt down here okay mm -hmm. all right giant head one more chance to try to get the uh, overkill modify here um, I think I'll do indignation and I think that's it in this turn I think I'll do leap claw and bite I don't think I'll get rid of the boot sequence I might be able to get it back in the turn where I need block 
Right, not getting attacked here, although I'm also weakened. So let's do... Uh, let's do Sash with just... Well, actually, the weakness didn't matter, right? So that probably wasn't necessary. Um, this looks fine next turn, and then I can do Darkness, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, here, yeah, I already have 18 block. The third eye is enough. I don't think I need Aggregate at all. Yeah, no reason to play that. Um, so I think instead I'll do Bite, Core Surge, then Defragment, and then third eye which gives me enough block and decent cards next turn let's also see what the foreign influence gives me i can do cut through fate or cleave let's do flying sleeves actually um i don't think i need the turbo well yeah no, i don't think i need it let's do flying sleeves okay mm -hmm, not getting attacked here i could do deva form no should i do all for one is going to give me back one claw the boot sequence, which I don't really need, and a turbo. None of them are super necessary, but I guess they won't hurt, right? So, yeah, let's do all for one. Then, uh, turbo, deva form. I kind of want to do the wall up here, but it's not that much damage. I think I'm good then. Let's, let's just move on. Okay. All right, 60 incoming. That's actually quite a bit of incoming here. Let's see what the FTL draws me. Then uh, buffer is perfect here. So let's do prostrate, pressure points, buffer. Then um, just bowling bash, I think. Yep. Okay. 70 incoming. Look at that. Uh, all right. So let's do just lucky. Get rid of the valid. I think what I'm going to try to do, let's recycle the wish and go for a chain of uh, and seizing top. So I do have a lot of energy. Let's do Miracle. Just Lucky. Collect. No, that, that would that would stop my unseen top chain. And then uh, let's do Cut Through Fate. Uh, for one, probably not necessary. I'll keep the third eye for block. Then Bite. Okay, I can do Leap, third eye. Uh, this looks fine next turn. Although Sash won't make him weakened, right? So let's get rid of it. And then Protect. Insight, uh, turbo is great. I can do cut. Oh, that uh, killed. Ah, I didn't even get a chance to play 20 cards. Gajurubisa, normal enemy combats are no longer current question mark rooms at the very end, right? That's kind of funny. And then I'll go for another buffer, but obviously I can't really get a collective bonus out of that. I am a little worried about my HP situation, but no, I think I'll risk it. I have some great potions too, so let's upgrade something. What should I upgrade? Definitely not the machine learning, right? Um, Maybe a scrawl. Maybe actually the buffer upgrade would be nice. Another wish upgrade. I should point out I haven't seen a single omniscience in the run, which is a little annoying. Okay. All right, I'm intangible here. Let me drink the potions. Uh, let's start with the strength potion. I'll keep the rest for later, I think. All right, uh, let's do prostrate. Oh, that's actually a really bad opener here, but fine. Okay. All right, that's a lot of incoming. Uh, so I could wish for... Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll play the duplication potion here. I think this is appropriate. Let's duplicate the wish for a bunch of plated armor. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'll also do duplicate the buffer. Yeah, I'll give him two strength, but I'll get four buffers. Um, which uh, looks like I'm going to lose all of them, right? I should use probably... I should play the third eye, right? Hang on, let me let me use all the potions here. Crescendo, Equilibrium, Multicast, Equilibrium is nice. Um, and I don't think I'll do like water. Let's do Equilibrium 1 and 2. And uh, hang on, so I have 34 incoming. I am actually fully defended here, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here... I don't think I'll use the Ambrosia potion, but I... Uh, If I do an Ignatian, well, let's start with the aggregate, okay, and then I can hologram, what, another equilibrium? Might be a little too much. Uh, let's do wallop, okay, then a uh, streamline. Actually, I think I'm fully defender, right, because I have so much plated armor. Yeah, so then let, let's just hologram some nice attack, like uh, streamline, okay. And then I could do rainbow, why not? Alright. Sunder, that's nice. 
Okay. Then third eye. Uh, I think wish is fine. Next turn, same with double energy. And hang on. If I do indignation, I'll get 64. I am actually fully defending against that. Let's do it. Why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. 44. So let's start with the turbo first, then double energy. And then a wish for plated armor. I could do the loop, but that's a power. So I do I do want to try to use the uh, dark orb. Um, then let's do scrape. Okay. FTL. Uh, oh, actually, signature move. You know what? Let me just do Ambrosia and then do signature move for 114 damage. Makes my life much easier. And then I'm not in Wrath anymore. Uh, and I can fully defend, right? Uh, yeah, so I already did the overkill modifier. This looks fine next turn. Let's do Steam Barrier and wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 22. I, I have so many buffers. I think it's fine to do Tantrum here. I also have the Empty Fist, right? Uh, empty Body, I mean. Let's do Miracle. Beam Cell is great. I think I can kill here, right? Cut through Fate. Um, I could even do All for One. Let's do that. Okay, and then I don't think I need to play any of these. So, well, I guess I can do prostrate. All right. All right, next turn I'll be intangible, which is nice. 84. Yeah, I think I'll just use the buffer here. I don't think I need, even need the equilibrium. Let's do prostrate again. Then carve reality. Scrawl is prob... Well, I mean, might as well play it, right? Okay. Uh, I could do collect here. Uh, hang on, let's do claw follow up. Then uh, flying sleeves, and then collect. Okay. Mm -hmm. There goes my buffer. And then here I'm intangible, which is very useful. Okay. So let's do go for the ice devotion. You know what? Let me do this now. Yeah, I didn't get anything amazing out of it. Explosive potion is fine. Let's do sash whip wallop. Then miracle flying sleeves, and that's enough. Nope. Uh, this is enough to kill. Good. One hour and ten minutes. Wow, this was a long run. Did not realize how long it was. All right, 15.45. Um, well, could have gotten another 50 points if I was a little... Well, not a little. Actually, I would have to be like 30 or 40 minutes faster. No, wait, 25. 25 minutes faster. But yeah, anyway, um, I only perfected nine elites. I was hoping it would be more. Nine out of 15 is not that great, but it's fine. Got beyond perfect. Was barely able to get overkill at the very end. Got only three collector bonuses, which I think is the most disappointing thing. So I got one for the bites and one for the wishes. What's the other one I got? Oh, scrawl. I didn't even notice that. That's interesting that two of the three collector bonuses are rare cards. And then Exhibition was very easy. Money, money. See, if I used Wish a few more times for gold, I would have been able to get another 25 points there. Just barely got I like shiny exactly 25 relics. Um, so not overall not bad, but definitely could have improved in terms of fighting more elites. So let's see. Ooh, didn't even make it in top 20. Wow. Um, oh, I'm 91st. Wow, that is actually, hang on, uh, let me see, if I played faster, would have been 1595, where would that would uh, put me? 1595 would have been uh, here, 48th, that's still not that great, keeping it real here in 54th place, not bad, and then Flick Nickham, 30th place was 1632, yeah, I, I am impressed by how, I guess, much better everybody else played. I mean, obviously, I can imagine perfecting more elites, and I'm sure I made a mistake here and there. Actually, I do know that I could have perfected some by just playing better potions. Because um, I didn't even use all my potions in the last fight, right? So I definitely could have played some more potions earlier on. Uh, that would have allowed me to perfect a few more elites. But um, but yeah, that's that's a pretty huge gap between, for example, me and Vorpal in terms of scores. So I'd be curious if it was just um, more elites perfected, or if there's something else that I missed, something completely different. Uh, let me know in the comments. Always interesting to read what others played. So thanks for watching. Bye.